pretty excited about this one. Uh, this is a pontoon boat, a Colorado XT pontoon boat, made by Classic Accessories, um, which they make patio furniture and stuff, super random. But anyway, the reviews on this are incredible. Everyone says, just pull the trigger, you'll be happy. I've been looking at this thing for years now and probably had it in multiple carts you know, over the years. Um, anyway, I finally pulled the trigger on it. It was on sale, a crazy sale, uh, $3.99 on Amazon, which normally it retails for $6.99, $7.99, like at Sportsman's Warehouse. I was there, saw one in person, it was, I think, $7.99 for the same exact boat, so I got it half off. Um, hopefully, it's not just like one pontoon and a seat for the price, but I have a feeling it's the whole boat. Um, but excited to add this to the camping adventures. Um, just got into fishing like a year ago at the end of the season, so um, hoping to get on the water, do some fishing, do some river camping trips, because this can hold a lot of weight and cargo. Uh, you can add a trolling motor, thinking about doing like a solar charging setup. I don't know, it's just a fun thing to trick out. It's somewhat portable, so I can break it down and put it in our little SUV for short little day trips. Um, but pretty cool, very excited. Going to do an unboxing. This is my first time looking at this thing. Um, see what's in the box, and then I'll also do an assembly, um, which I had never done. So let's see how long it takes, and just get some detailed video and accent shots, and uh, yeah, stick around and. See what we got. Don't cut a hole in the pontoon. Don't open it like this. Should be fine, right? There she is. Looks sweet. stuff out. Let's see what we got. Okay, frame pieces. Pontoon number one. Some sort of quality control check, which that's nice. There's pontoon. Number two, here is the rear cargo basket. Looking forward to that. What is this? This is, oh god, this is the seat, the folding seat. Okay. Here are the footrests for the frame. Here are the frame pieces that connect to the pontoons, left and right. Some sort of rocks. That's weird. All right, here's the back cage frame mount for your trolling motor, the transom mount. And here is your little mesh uh, fish measuring doodad net deal. And last, the set of oars that click into place. I've heard, these are, I've heard these are heavy duty and nice, so we'll see. But that is what's in the box. This 
some weird little pebbles. I'm not sure what that is. See, I wasn't kidding about the patio furniture. I think this is their primary business, but they've been very successful with this pontoon boat. Anyway, kind of random, but looks like they make quality stuff. All right, just gonna unwrap all this stuff and lay it all out. So, first thoughts, now that I have it all laid out and I can look at everything, it is high quality stuff. Um, I expected it to be high quality, but it's different in person. Um, the tubing, the, hi buddy, the tubing, um, the wall thickness on the tubing, it is much thicker than I anticipated, um, kind of assumed it would be a thinner wall tubing but it's yeah it's got some weight to it um i know others complained about rust being in the tubes i haven't seen any signs of rust anywhere um but overall just high quality um obviously the fabric and stuff is tough and that's what they do as a company is specialize in patio furniture but anyway um yeah i am very happy with the build quality so far everything looks great um have it all laid out to start the assembly process not sure how i'm pumping up yet because i don't have a pump but i have things that might work like a vacuum but uh yeah this uh this looks cool very excited Okay, saw this little thing here. It says parts in here. Let's uh, see what they provided with the parts. Okay, that's a lot of little parts and like the ore locks. It does come with tools. Uh, let's dig in here and see. Let's see what's what. Okay, we have the lock for the air valve. That's nice, heavy duty. We have the air inlet hose, which also locks in to pump up. Uh, brass or locks, those look nice. There's the fishing rod holder, which I've been told is useless. And I don't know if it's useless, but it's not great. But I bought a separate one for that. And then all your clips for assembly, I'm sure this is locking clevis, like C-clip type deals. So that's for all your tubing to assemble. And then you have a few little Allen keys here. But I think that's it for parts. Um, this all just kind of clicks together now, so looks pretty good. Quick thing I wanted to mention was this pedestal that I bought for it um, separately. Uh, seven inches rather than just sitting flat on the, the frame there. I thought it's made by Swivelies, seven inch pedestal, uh, or sorry, made by Atwood. Um, I thought because it said Swivelies, it swiveled, but it's just a, a mount that does not swivel. Um, but that's fine. I can get the other swivel attachments. I do want it to swivel because eventually I'm going to hook it up to the trolling motor with the bungee system I've seen in another YouTube video to steer it for me. Um, but it does look like it's just gonna fit right on there. No problem mounting it. I will have to get other hardware to mount to the frame, but I don't need the swivel seat for my first couple 
um, trips out. But anyway, seven inch pedestal gets you raised up a little bit, but not, not too, too much. So I mounted the pedestal that I bought, this seven inch riser. Um, and as you can see, it's just four wing nuts that came with the seat. Um, so I need to buy hardware for this. And I also need a swivel, which I ordered. Anyway, so I can't attach it at the moment, but you can see the height difference rather than just sitting flat on the frame, which I think is going to be beneficial. We'll see. But just wanted to show you that real quick. Um, I'm actually going to take this off for now and just mount it without the pedestal so I can take it out tomorrow morning, hopefully, if the weather is good. All right, here is the seat mounted without the pedestal, how you would just mount it out of the box. Um, it is a nice feature here, design feature, where this is adjustable, your seat back and forth, probably why they have the wing nuts. Um, so depending on your weight and load and, you know, your trolling motor, battery, all that stuff, you can shift your weight just to the front of the seat, you can shift it forward, so on, kind of dial in your, your balance. Um, I did notice this part of the frame um, is actually for, it's kind of like a little hitch mount basically, um, but they do sell a wheel, an inflatable wheel on an arm that kind of just clips in here and you can use it to get your boat down the, the beach or wherever you're going, the, the boat ramp. Um, so mine, the one I got did not come with that, I think that's a separate accessory, but I have a welder and Harbor Freight, etc. I'm just going to build something for that, just to lock in there. That'll be super easy and nice um, to get the boat from point A to point B into the water. So, yeah, everything is looking good so far. I'm going to continue building the frame. I'm not going to read the directions because I think it's pretty self-explanatory, but we'll see how it goes. Frame is done. That was very easy, especially for my first time. Okay, let's see here. This little net mesh probably needs to go on before I put the seat on. So, you know, maybe read the directions, up to you. But, oh no, I lied. All right, and then these Velcro points here actually mount to the pontoons. They don't mount to the frame. So it just kind of floats here for now. Um, same with the back. Yeah, nothing, nothing mounts to the frame. It's just kind of free floating until it gets attached to the pontoons with the Velcro. But that is it. That is the frame. Um, very easy. The frame is pretty heavy. Um, obviously that's where most of the weight is in this thing, but kind of a good thing because it's built solid. Um, there's the anchor drop here, which actually feeds through and you can drop it right there. I'll show the detail of that here shortly. But it's time for the pontoons, which gotta figure out how to do this without the right stuff. So I found a pump, kinda. You can uh, change your shot back from suck to blow. So I don't see why it wouldn't work. Um, I do have this handy dandy adapter, which actually might just be the perfect thing for this. But I got this from Temu, Timu. But it's just a little adapter for your 
uh, like sanders and stuff to attach to your shop back here, which first time using this and I'm kind of glad I bought it because this is going to work, I think. Also, just a note, um, max PSI, two and a half PSI. So I am not inflating this thing fully with this, not risking anything. I think uh, I'm going to get a hand pump with a little gauge on it to really fine tune that two and a half PSI. Um, but I'm going to get it most of the way there just for assembly purposes. And we'll see how this goes here. <laughs> one complete tunes to the frame and there is four straps slash buckles and some velcro involved and I might actually want to read the directions on this one but it seems pretty straightforward so let's give it a shot so I jumped the gun on this whole assembly process um, this is why you read the directions you know sometimes it helps Anyway, um, the point is to attach the pontoons, it's best to not have this frame rail attached to the rest of the frame, have it detached, attach the pontoons properly, then you can just slide it in to the seat frame portion. So I'll show you this buckle system, how it attaches, because I've tried a few times now and it was pretty tricky, but I think I got it now, so I'll show you how that works per the instructions. So I'll do a little close-up on that so you can see. You have this portion detached altogether and you pontoon and flight it. You can see these little kind of tabs here that prevent chafing or whatever. Um, and then these loops, which that is where your straps and buckles are gonna go. Um, so, just kind of start with the first one here. And like I said, this was kind of tricky at first, but instructions, instructions are good. So your buckle should look like this. Open, nothing in this top buckle here. Your strap goes under this mounting frame. And now it goes through the bottom opening like so, okay. And then through the top, and then the Velcro here attaches there. So that keeps it nice and tight and secure. That is the proper way, and it is a little tricky at first, but it makes sense now. So, moving on. under into the first slot, bottom slot, through 
top slot and attach. Okay, so that is properly attached on this side. I probably need more air on this thing to kind of fill it out and make it a little tighter, but that is how you attach it on that side. Moving on to the inside, same process. Make sure your buckle doesn't have anything wrapped into it already. This is your hole number, by the way, if you need that for something. Like your serial number for your boat. All right, so same process under in that frame. Go into the first bottom loop opening and then into the top opening. And, and pull like crazy. that. Okay, so you can see, nice and tight, clean, that'll work. Alright, last one. So this is what I was talking about, they come like this sometimes, um, so it gets confusing um, if you're just trying to do it without instructions, but anyway, take anything that's out of this, so it's just a clean open buckle. And then you go under frame, down and back, into the first bottom opening, and then into the top opening, and secure. Okay, so that is actually nice and solid on there. So much easier with this detached. Do not do what I did earlier. Learning as I go here. But this looks pretty good. It's on there. Nice and tight. It's not sliding around or anything. Yeah, looks good. All right, now I know how to do the other side and assemble this thing properly. All right, now that your pontoons are attached to the side frame rails properly, without it being attached to the center portion, this is the proper way of doing it. Highly recommend it. Now it's ready to just click in back to where I had it. Okay, much better. And then here's the Velcro on the pontoons that attach to this little mesh skirt here. Yep. Nice. All right. Much better. Then obviously you can put in your foot rest bars, and then the back portion, which I'm going to show you the back portion because it's a little different as far as assembly. So I'll spin this around and uh, get a close-up of it. I flipped it around, so looking at the back, you have this bar which just attaches in here with the two little clevis pins, and the basket, and something I learned during my assembly here is it's much easier to put this basket in here now on these two little holes than it is to try to add later because they kind of slide in at the same time so so it's going to slide in through there on the frame and then there's little tabs for this guy to support the basket. So I'll show you that. So we're going to slide into the frame nice and easy. But it also has to go in these little tabs at the same time. So it's not difficult, but not as easy as the other parts of the frame. 
you can guys use like a mallet in this portion. Use a little mallet, like a dead low hammer. Perfect. That makes your life a lot easier. And then the clavis pins, common sense, but just make sure the loop goes to the outside, not towards the pontoon. You don't want anything really rubbing on that that you don't need. But... Perfect. I'm sure this will wear in over time. Probably just excessive paint and stuff on the tubes. But that is that. That is solid. Just needs the uh, foot rest in and that's it. The oar locks, the oars. So basically done here. It looks sweet. I'm really happy with it. First impressions are very good. here the pulley system um, it's pretty cool how it works I'm excited for that but yeah I like it it's looking good So anyway, I bought one little now somewhere. I'm not sure where, where yet, but lots of options for mounting things on this tubular frame. Um, I am going to build a platform right here, a little standing platform. Um, not sure how I'm going to build it yet, but probably do some welding and whatnot. Um, first impressions are are good on this thing. Uh, it's a little bigger in person than I expected. Uh, the storage spots are a little smaller than expected. I know there is different models that do have bigger storage, but I mean, for the price, this thing has anything and everything I need. Um, these little cup holders, I don't even think, think you can fit like a can of soda or a beer in there. Like, honestly, it's maybe like a Red Bull can, but I don't know. There's a few little weird quirky things with it, but um, there's a, a lot of nice touches to it, um, nice features, and overall it's like the quality is above what I expected, and I expected good quality. So I'm um, super excited to get this thing out in the water, possibly tomorrow, depending on the weather and rain and wind and all that stuff. Um, I am going to add a trolling motor. Um, obviously a battery, probably lithium, and then I have a portable solar panel. I plan on taking this thing, uh, obviously for fishing, local lakes and rivers and stuff here in Michigan, um, but I also want to do a river trip. Um, there's a 
bunch of crazy long 120, 180 mile river trips um, where you can camp along the way and fish. And I think that would be super cool. Um, so can't wait for spring slash summer to arrive. I'm sick of the cold and ready for some adventures. Um, speaking of, and I left this to the last part of the video, but um, I'm eight subscribers away from a thousand subscribers, which is crazy um, considering I haven't done much to my channel. Still trying to figure out my channel, what kind of direction I'm going, but I think it'll be stuff like this, kind of gear reviews, unboxings, assembly, you know, tricking things out, whatnot. Definitely gonna trick this thing out. Um, this is my dog, Buddy, by the way. He's super cool. Um, but sad news is I got rid of the Adventure Mobile. Um, I probably gained most of my subscribers from that four-wheel camper Tacoma tour video that I did. It has a lot of views and whatnot, but just to be honest with you, it's, it's gone. It's off to a new home, a good home. I actually talked to both people who purchased the truck and camper separately. But, um, you know, things change in life, uh, finances, jobs, you know, where you live, uh, you know, you have to adjust and it just wasn't the right timing for me to have that set up, um, which is fine. You know, obviously I miss it, but I'll get back to it and uh, probably build some sort of camping trailer overland setup, um, you know, and make some YouTube videos on it. So. It is what it is. I really appreciate all the subscribers thus far. Um, like I said, I'm eight away from a thousand, which is crazy. Um, and I'd like to do more of these videos. So if you like what you saw and you want to see future videos that are somewhat related to this kind of stuff, or just me on this boat fishing and camping and enjoying the Michigan waterways, um, please follow along, like, and subscribe, all that good stuff. And I appreciate you. You're awesome. Um, thanks for watching. Testing, testing, one, two, three. How do I look? Like an idiot? Okay. Right, yeah, I like this, I like that, I like this, I like that, I like this, I like that. This is pretty cool. These are pretty stupid. This doesn't make sense. Okay. Thanks for watching.